people do things. Sometimes people do things like they will take their annual reports and then they'll make a doctored version and try to present it later because the version that they had at the time had a lot of benchmarks set up on it, including things like, you know, long-term securities, sometimes 10, 25, 30 years. And you want to change all the numbers before they come due or you want to obscure the information before it comes time because somebody might try to hold you accountable for what you committed to at the time, including and especially if you're doing illegal things with it. But I had this experience where I wasn't really sure what happened. It was this competitive bidding situation. And in the course of that competitive bidding situation, illegal activities happened, highly illegal, unconscionable activities actually happened. And I got concerned that what was happening is that one company was intentionally sabotaging technology connected to another company in order to try to get some undue advantage. And one of these companies had a lot of clout in the state where they were primarily based. And the other company had a lot of clout in the state where it was primarily based. And they've been doing this little tit for tat back and forth crap for all of my life. And my concern was that when they murdered those 16 guys in Mississippi, that it might have something to do with those 13 guys they murdered when I was a kid on that military base. So I was going to high school, and one day they called us up, and we had an announcement over the speaker. We needed to go home. There had been an accident. A plane had crashed on the base. They were sending us home for the day. And part of it was an understanding that at least one of the people on that plane had a child that went to school with us. So as a sign of respect, we ended up closing down for the day, the school closed down for the day, and we were all sent home so that the information could be um, given directly, I believe, to the family and there could be some, uh, you know, assistance in dealing with the trauma. This happened when I was in high school. And somebody took me and the people I went to school with. We didn't have a lot of people in my school. You know that my high school has less than 130 people in it. And somebody liked those numbers and they've been betting on them ever since. And now I think the same Nazis that like to stick little robots in kids and make them sick so that they can go set up economic events that I guess they hope to bank on for how long? Because you're going on over 30 years with me. And I actually think, if I'm correct, that it's closer to what, 36? Yeah. So did Texas aid and abet Lockheed Martin in murdering those Marines aboard Quantico in 1992, and then aid and abet them again, participating in a murder, uh, an act of racketeering connected to murder of 16 members of the military in Mississippi. How many other people did you intentionally murder in between as part of your contract bidding? And how many fucking more years do you expect to get away with trying to extort me and to setting your children up to be prostitutes. You know, if you thought you could abuse your office as vice president to put your daughter on my pussy, I am sorry to say that is not acceptable. See, I heard that conversation she had with a former theater commander in the Middle East in 2016, sir. And I don't appreciate... You wheel in your wheelchair into the White House and expecting me to pay for it. No thank you. You keep your shit to yourself from now on. Don't you dare let me hear you again try to set up another deal on a little fucking kid for another fucking country, you fucking traitors.